Week one, we are going to be working on straight ankle locks and straight ankle lock defense. So, first thing we're going to do is I need to make sure that my inside leg is hidden so that he can't attack this leg so easily. I need to be disciplined with this and not put it in front of him. My outside leg is going to be heel first into his hip and I, want, I don't want to cross the midline here and, and leap at his knee to like turn his knee in. I want to have this position. Now I want to try and touch my heel to my, to my knee here, or my shin at least. And now I'm going to be attacking this leg here and I'm pinching here. So what I need to do is, what I would like is I want his foot, if it's, flex, if it's like this, I don't really have a grip. I want it pointed this way so that I bring my wrist all the way back to that little notch that happens right here, okay? And I want his toes pointed so that the pressure is not just here, but also in the front of his foot, okay? So I have this here, slide this all the way back, pinch everything that, I'd like, that I can pinch, and I need to bring my elbow down and in, okay? If I can, I'll grab the back of my other hand, okay? Just kind of like a, a guillotine. And then I'm gonna rotate, like pinning my elbow down, and then I'm gonna start turning towards the outside, this way, okay? And I want that heel next to my knee, and then I can start attacking. I'm gonna drop my elbow to the floor, go to my belly and look up if I can get that far, but usually once I get here and I start going towards the outside, it's already done, okay? So how can I get that set up, okay? A couple, let's say I'm standing and you're on your butt, and he's trying, I'm trying to pass his guard, and we're here, I can automatically just hook and I have it. Now I can choose to sit, put my foot in between, sit, block from, so that he can't come up and start attacking me or defending so easily. Pinch that elbow, grab tight, rotate to the outside, and then arch my back to look up, okay? Uh, another good one would be, even from a butterfly sweep, I can elevate him and use this as an entrance. Hold, come up, hook that foot, foot to the hip, here. Now what a lot of times how I get him to fall is I start that way and then I push this knee outside. Okay? And now I get all the way to that heel, grab my hand, pinch tight, and then arch. Okay? Alright, now we're going to work on the how to defend the foot lock. Okay? A couple things we need to remember. He gets this leg lock on me. Okay? He's got his heel in place. His other foot is hidden. He's pinching tight. I need to undo everything he's trying to do. So I'm gonna keep him close to me. By keeping him close, what I can do is what we call put on the boot. So I don't want my toes pointed because he gets that lock all the way back by my heel, okay? So I stomp my foot through and you kind of see I'm pulling my foot up and back. And so it's squared off. He doesn't really have as good of a, a leverage on me in that way, okay? Another thing I can do is kind of pry his knees open. I can hand fight here or I can kind of grab at these toes, pry that off, and try and make my way to the outside, okay? And then try and get up, all right? Sometimes, sometimes you'll see people try and stand up, which is fine, okay? I put that boot on, I try to get up, okay? If I can get up and put my foot flat, I have a lot better leverage here, because my foot's on the ground, I don't have to worry about the boot, the floor does that for me. Stay on top, peel this off, and now I can work trying to pass and get past that leg. Okay? Good.